The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. I am Fobang Emmanuel, your chemistry teacher. Our lesson today is under the topic matter, properties, and transformation, and precisely under the subtopic chemistry of the elements, precisely alkali and alkaline earth metals. This subtopic is further divided into two main sections, which are the alkali metals and we have the alkaline earth metals. Under the alkali metals, we have three lessons, which are the general properties of group one elements, preparation of the hydroxide, the halite, sulfate, nitrate, and carbonate of the group one elements, the properties of the hydroxide, the halite, the sulfate, the nitrate, and the carbonate of group one elements. Under alkaline earth metals, we have four lessons, which are general properties of group one elements, preparation of the hydroxide, the halite, the sulfate, the nitrate, and the carbonate of group two elements, properties of the hydroxide, halite, sulfate, nitrate, and carbonate of group two elements, and the hardness of water. Before we proceed with the lesson, let us correct the assignment we had in the last lesson. Question number one. The elements of group two are called alkaline earth metals. A. What is their stable oxidation state? The elements of group two of the periodic table have two valence electrons. And when they lose these two valence electrons, the result is the formation of an ion with a plus two oxidation state. So the stable oxygen state of the group two elements is plus two. Group two elements cannot form ions that have another oxidation state. So whenever you think of group two elements, you should be reminded that they have a stable oxidation state of plus two. It cannot be plus one, it cannot be plus three, it can only be plus two. And this is because they lose two electrons on their valence shells to form ions with a plus two oxidation state. B, identify the type of compounds they form. Group two elements, as their name implies, alkaline earth metals, are metals, so they form ionic compounds. And they do so by losing electrons to non-metallic elements. So for a group two element to form a compound, the two valence electrons on its outermost shell is completely transferred to a non-metallic element, resulting in the formation of an ion with a charge of plus two. And the, the non-metal that gains the electron also forms an ion, but with a charge of minus two. C. How does their reactivity vary down the group? 
The group two elements are reactive metals and their reactivity increases down the group. This is because as you move down the group, the number of electronic shells that they have increases. So there is a greater repulsion on the valence electrons by the inner electrons. So the attraction of the nucleus on these outer electrons is reduced. So the outer electrons are easily lost. For that reason, their reactivity increases down the group as the number of electronic shells increases. Question number two. When a piece of calcium is heated in air, two solids are formed. A. Identify these two compounds. When a group 2 element is heated in air, the result is the formation of calcium oxide and calcium nitride. Oxygen is a part of air, nitrogen is also a part of air. So when you heat calcium in air, it reacts with oxygen in air to form calcium oxide and it also reacts with nitrogen in air to form, to form the nitride of the element. B. Write equations to show how they are formed. So, to form calcium oxide, calcium reacts with oxygen, which is the active part of air, to form calcium oxide. And to obtain calcium nitride, calcium reacts with nitrogen, which, is, which represents the inactive part of air, to form calcium nitride. This reaction is peculiar to group two elements. The group one elements do not undergo this reaction. When group one elements are heated in air, they do not react with nitrogen. But group two elements, for example, calcium, will react with nitrogen in air to form their nitrides. Three, write equations to show what happens when A, magnesium reacts with warm water. Magnesium is relatively unreactive compared to calcium. So when it reacts with warm water, magnesium hydroxide is produced and hydrogen gas is given off. B, when magnesium reacts with steam, the reaction between magnesium and steam is more vigorous. But this time around, magnesium oxide is produced instead of magnesium hydroxide. But hydrogen gas is also given off. C. When magnesium nitride is sprinkled with water and warm. When magnesium is heated in air, it forms magnesium nitride. And when this magnesium nitride is sprinkled with water and warmed, the result is the formation of magnesium hydroxide and ammonia, which is a gas that has a pungent choking smell, is given off. So one of the ways you can know that group two elements react with nitrogen in air is by sprinkling the products form when they are heated in air with water and warming. If a gas with a pungent choking smell that turns red most pepper blue is produced, it means that a nitrite was actually formed. Lesson 17. Preparation of the hydroxides, the halides, the sulfate, the nitrate, and carbonate of group 2 elements. Lesson plan. Let, we have the lesson objectives, we have prerequisites, we have a real-life situation, activities, evaluation, assignment, and references. Lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to step simple preparation methods by which the hydroxide, the halite, the sulfate, the nitrate, and carbonate of group two elements or alkaline metals alkaline earth metals are produced. You should also be able to state how these compounds 
are collected after preparation. Prerequisite knowledge. You can be able to understand this lesson because you are already aware of the periodic table. You know the trend of the reactivity of group two elements as you move down the group. You also know the physical properties of the elements of group two. Real life situation. Acidic soils are unfavorable to farmers given that they cause agricultural yields to diminish. That is, when the soil is acidic or when the pH of the soil is very low, plants cannot do very well. So the result is a drop in agricultural yields. However, this problem can be resolved using the compounds of group two elements. Identify one such compound and describe its laboratory preparation. Before this lesson comes to an end, we are going to revisit this real life situation and identify how one such compound is prepared and collected in the laboratory. Activities. One, what happens when you add calcium oxide, a white solid, to water? When we add calcium oxide, a white solid, to water, a vigorous reaction occurs, and as this reaction occurs, so much heat is produced. If, this, if such a reaction is carried out in the plastic container, the heat produced could even melt the plastic container. Two, weigh calcium carbonate and heat it at a high temperature. Weigh the mass of the solid residue. When we take calcium carbonate and we weigh on the chemical balance and then we put it in the crucible and we heat it with the crucible open, we will observe that after cooling, when we weigh the residue remaining in the crucible, the mass of the residue is going to be less than the mass that we had for the initial solid. This observation indicates that as calcium carbonate is heated at a high temperature, a chemical change takes place that results in a decrease in mass. Period. Place a small amount of calcium carbonate in a beaker containing dilute hydrochloric acid. Note your observations. Carry out crystallization on the resulting solution. If we take calcium carbonate, a white solid, and we add hydrochloric acid to it, what happens is that we are going to observe gas bubbles being released. This phenomenon is known as effervescence. Now, after the effervescence comes to an end, if the solution that remains is heated until it becomes saturated, what will happen is that a solid is going to crystallize out of solution and this white solid that crystallizes out of solution is calcium chloride. Preparation of the hydroxide, halide, sulfate, nitrate and carbonate of group 2 elements. 1. Preparation of the hydroxide of group 2 elements. For example, preparation of calcium hydroxide, which is a white solid. To prepare calcium hydroxide in the laboratory, what we simply do is that we dissolve calcium carbonate in water. That means calcium carbonate, which is a solid, is reacted with water and the result is the formation of calcium hydroxide. Now, calcium Hydroxide has two names depending on its state. It could, it could be known, it could be called slake lime or it could be called lime water. When it's referred to as lime water, it is when it is dissolved in water or in the aqueous state. And then it is known as slake lime when it exists in the solid state. How do we obtain the calcium carbonate, the calcium oxide 
that is used to prepare our calcium hydroxide. To obtain calcium oxide for this process, we simply carry out thermal decomposition on calcium carbonate. That is, we heat calcium carbonate and it's going to decompose to produce calcium oxide, which we collect for the preparation of calcium hydroxide, while carbon dioxide is given off. Alternatively, we can also obtain calcium oxide by the thermal decomposition of calcium nitrate. Solid calcium nitrate is heated at a high temperature, and as a result of that heating, it breaks down to form calcium oxide, and nitrogen dioxide and oxygen are given off during this process. Two, preparation of other compounds of group two elements. A, preparation of carbonates, B, preparation of halides, C, preparation of sulfate, and D, preparation of nitrate. A, preparation of carbonates, for example, calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, which is a, an insoluble solid, is prepared in the lab by a method known as double decomposition. To carry out this procedure, two soluble salts like sodium carbonate and calcium chloride are reacted. And when these two salts are mixed, there is an exchange of radicals and the result is the formation of calcium carbonate and sodium chloride. The only species that is insoluble in this system is the calcium carbonate. And after preparation, it is collected by filtration. That means we use a filter paper to trap the insoluble calcium carbonate, removing it from the reaction mixture. This reaction is also known as a precipitation reaction, reason being that one of the products formed, calcium carbonate, is insoluble in water. So whenever we have a chemical reaction that results in the formation of a product that is insoluble, that reaction could also be referred to as a precipitation reaction. B, preparation of halides, for example, calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is prepared in the laboratory by the action of dilute mineral acids, especially dilute hydrochloric acid on calcium carbonate. So we have calcium carbonate, which reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce calcium chloride. And as you know, whenever carbonates react with acids, carbon dioxide is given off and water is also formed. So calcium carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to form calcium chloride, giving off carbon dioxide and water is also formed. The salt obtained from this reaction, that is calcium chloride, is then collected from solution by crystallization. That is, we heat the solution to obtain a saturated salt solution, which is then allowed to cool, and during the cooling process, crystals are formed. C, preparation of sulfate, e.g. calcium sulfate. Calcium sulfate, like calcium carbonate, is also prepared by double decomposition. Two salt, calcium chloride and the sodium sulfate are reacted to produce calcium sulfate and sodium chloride. The salt prepared by this method is collected by filtration given that it is insoluble in water. C. D. Preparation of nitrate. For example, preparation of calcium nitrate. Calcium nitrate is prepared by reacting calcium carbonate with nitric acid. So, we take powdered calcium carbonate and then we add it to a solution of dilute nitric acid 
and the result is the formation of calcium nitrate. As is the case with every reaction between a carbonate and an acid, carbon dioxide is given off and water is also formed. This calcium nitrate obtained from this reaction is soluble in water, so it is collected by crystallization. Calcium nitrate is an important compound because it contains calcium and nitrogen which are needed by living things for growth. For example, animals need calcium for the formation of bone and teeth and they also need nitrogen for the formation of proteins and plants also need nitrogen for the formation of proteins. Let us revisit our real life situation. Acidic soils are unfavorable to farmers, given that they cause agricultural yields to diminish. However, this problem can be resolved using the compounds of group 2 elements. Identify one such compound and describe its laboratory preparation. So, the compound of a group 2 element that can be used to remedy the problem of acidic soils, which does not favor the growth of crops, is calcium carbonate. And this compound is prepared in the laboratory by double decomposition. As we earlier said, double decomposition is used to produce insoluble salts from a solution of two soluble salts. So to obtain calcium carbonate, which is insoluble, we react sodium carbonate, which is soluble, with calcium chloride, which is soluble. As a result, there is an exchange of radicals, and calcium carbonate, which is insoluble, is produced, and the sodium chloride, which is soluble, is also produced. This insoluble substance or salt which can be used to solve the problem of acidic soils by applying it to soils, can then be collected after preparation by filtration. Recall, calcium chloride and calcium nitrate are prepared by reacting calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid and nitric acid respectively. That is, to obtain calcium chloride in the laboratory, we react hydrochloric acid with calcium carbonate and that to obtain calcium nitrate in the laboratory we react nitric acid with calcium carbonate as well. Calcium carbonate and calcium sulfate which are insoluble salt are prepared in the laboratory by double decomposition which is also a precipitation <coughs> reaction. The insoluble salts or insoluble compounds of group 2 elements are collected by filtration. So calcium sulfate, for example, and calcium carbonate, which are insoluble, can be collected from solution by filtration. While the soluble salts like calcium chloride and calcium nitrate are collected by crystallization. Evaluation. Calcium forms several useful compounds, including calcium hydroxide, which is prepared by the reaction of calcium oxide with water. A. What is its common name when it is in the solid and the aqueous state? When calcium hydroxide is in the solid state, it is known as slaked lime. And when it is in the aqueous state, it is known as lime water. B. Write an equation to show how it is prepared. To prepare calcium hydroxide, we react calcium oxide with water. This reaction is characterized by the release of so much heat. So it is known as an exothermic reaction. C. How is the calcium oxide used in this process obtained? Write an equation. To produce calcium hydroxide, 
As we have seen, we need calcium oxide. To obtain this calcium oxide, we carry out thermal decomposition on calcium carbonate. That is, we heat calcium carbonate such that it decomposes to produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Question number two. Calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid and nitric acid to form salt. A. Write equations to show how these salts are prepared. Calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce calcium chloride. Calcium carbonate also reacts with nitric acid to produce calcium nitrate. And uh, during these processes, carbon dioxide is released and water is also formed. B. Name one method by which these salts can be recovered from solution. These salts, which are soluble in water, can be recovered from solution by crystallization. Assignment. The elements of group 2 form both soluble and insoluble compounds. A. Name two examples each of such compounds that are soluble and insoluble. B. Write equations to show how they are prepared in the laboratory. C. Identify the methods by which they are collected from solution. Question number two. Slake lime can be prepared from the reaction between calcium oxide and water. What is slake lime? A. What is slake lime? B. Write an equation to show how it is obtained. As references for this lesson, we used Understanding Chemistry by GK Kids and Collaborators. We also used Chemistry by Robert C. Fay. We used Ordinary Level Chemistry for Cameroon Schools by NJ Nubaga. And we also got material from the internet. Our next lesson will be focused on the properties of the hydroxide, the halite, the sulfate, the nitrate, and carbonate of group two elements. Manetambia <laughs> ninyane